Hello, I'm humbled to be with you again at the beginning of this wonderful school year. I want to share a brief message with you about letting gratitude guide your attitude this year. Each year gives us a unique ability to start fresh, to move from a scarcity mindset to a mindset of gratitude. We have a unique opportunity within our Catholic schools and our churches to be the leaders of our early childhood profession. We control the environment that we set for children and families each and every year, and each year gives us a new opportunity to have an environment that I encourage you to set up to be filled with gratitude this year. I encourage you to think about how we move from a scarcity mindset to a gratitude mindset. Not only is this shift crucial for the children and family we serve, but it's essential for our faith formation. In God's grand design, He wired our bodies to be energized and to thrive on gratitude. <clears throat> you know, you can do something as simple as to take a mason jar or a small bucket and decorate it and put it on your desk at school and put, let gratitude guide my attitude. You can take each day a small message that you write to yourself about the things that you're grateful for and stick it in this gratitude jar or bucket. You can encourage your colleagues to do the same. And on a day when one of your colleagues is having a really tough day, you can put a little note in there to them. Because on a day when your gratitude barometer, for a lack of a better word, might be running a little low, take one of those messages out and read it to yourself. And remember, God wants us to fill our life with gratitude. He's asked us to do that, and he's wired our body to actually respond to gratitude and provide more energy. So on days that you're struggling, dip into your bucket, refresh your soul and spirit with the nuggets of gratitude that you've placed in there. You know, it's interesting because we, we know about gratitude in our faith, but now science is actually caught up and said, there's a link here. There was a study several years ago that took and divided people into three groups. We're going to call the first group the gratitude group. The second, the second group was kind of the irritated group. And the last group was the neutral group. And here's how it went. The gratitude group was asked to journal every day for a period of time, everything that they were grateful for during the day. The second group, kind of the irritated group, was asked to only write about the things and journal about things that irritated them about the day. And the neutral group was asked to journal as well, but they were asked to only write about the things that happened in their life that day, but they weren't allowed to put any emotions to it. And surprisingly, the gratitude group experienced a more optimistic view of life. They had less stress. They had less visits to the doctor's office, so therefore better health. And they reported being happier overall with their life than the other two groups. This is why it's so important as believers in Christ. We must shift our attitudes from a scarcity mindset to a gratitude mindset. God wants us to be grateful and to live through gratitude. When we do this, joy is returned abundantly. So let's think about this from our faith perspective now, because we know the research puts it there, right? And proves that gratitude is important. How do you commit to shifting your faith practice to be more centered on gratitude? One step is to be intentional about it. In our prayer life, thank, thank God daily for small and large gifts that are available. You know, I started swimming more this summer just for a stress reliever. So on my laps up the pool, I pray in grateful ways and give gratitude for the gifts that have been given to me in my life. And on the way back, I do ask for my petitions, but I've been more intentional about making time for gratitude in my day. And it has made a shift in my life. Self-care is important, okay? We need to be intentional about that. Find time to do things that you enjoy, to help you recharge your energy. This will be different for each and every one of you. What makes me happy, maybe swimming, is not your passion, and that's okay. You need to remember and realize that God created and intended you to work with your mind, your body, and our soul. He didn't want you to work in isolation of those three parts. They are interconnected for a reason. You need to make sure that you give yourself grace. You don't need to be perfect. 
distract, right? We sometimes get on our phones and we're looking at social media posts and we're thinking everyone else is having a great life. You know, put the social media away for a while because the reality is nobody posts the bad stuff. We only want to post the good stuff. So although I'm not trying to be Pollyanna, another person may look like they have a happier life than you because they're leaving out all the hurdles that they've had during the day. You also need to give time to prioritize joy. See, when you focus on gratitude, joy is returned abundantly. So the more gratitude we give, the more joy we receive. Make time for prayer and reflection. Whether it's sitting on the front porch with a cup of coffee before everyone gets up, whether it's taking a five minute walk on your break at work, but make time for it. See, these strategies create a spiritual bond with God. And let's be honest, finding things to be angry about are so much easier to do because it's really easy to be ungrateful than trying to look at something that might have happened and to find the good in it and to find time to calm ourselves and think about, you know, it may be not going the way it's it, that I want it to go, but look at this, this happened and this is good. So I need to give gratitude for it. Start your year with gratitude and add to your jar and your bucket daily. I promise you this simple challenging mind shift will allow you to have a bucket that overflows into others' buckets. Joy is on your horizon. I promise you that this year, controlled by your attitude and fired by your gratitude. I am grateful for all of our early childhood educators. And I promise to think of you all in my daily gratitude reflections. Thank you for what you do. And may gratitude guide your attitude this year and fill your buckets with endless joy. God bless you all and have a wonderful school year.